Hey, it's Evan Marquette, Steady Coach for Smart, Strong, Successful Women and your personal trainer for love. Today, I'm gonna to share one piece of advice that will instantly shift the way you look at dating. It's so simple, you won't believe that you didn't think of it yourself. Now, before I get to that, Let's talk about what usually happens on a date. If there's this guy that you don't feel that much chemistry, you find all the reasons in the world to not see him again. He's too short, he's too fat, he's too bald, he's too eager, too negative, too sensitive, too talkative, too quiet, too something. And you leave the date feeling like you'd probably have to have like six beers to consider kissing him. And then when he follows up with you the next day, you cringe at how needy he seems you don't wanna to have to talk yourself into going out with a guy. And you shouldn't. Now let's flip that around. Go on a date. He's cute, funny, charming, confident, successful, just the right amount of nice guy and bad boy. And you are hooked. Now that you're hooked, you magically lose the ability to think critically. If the guy texts you a week later, you're okay with it. Guy texts you to come over late at night, you'll go to his place, or at least highly consider it. The guy continues to text you sporadically week after week, month after month, you still give him the benefit of the doubt. Why? because chemistry like this is so very rare, you're not gonna do anything to ruin it. You'll do whatever it takes to keep it alive, even if it means ignoring things like effort and boundaries. So the next thing you know, you're sleeping with a guy once a week for three straight months, and he still showed no interest in being your boyfriend. How did this happen? How do you prevent it from happening again? Listen up, tattoo this on your forearm. Don't pay attention to what happens on the date, pay attention to what happens after the date. Any guy could show you an amazing time over dinner and drinks, but the only way to tell if he's serious about you is how quickly he follows up to make another date. Texting to say he had fun is not a date. Texting to check in a few days later is not a date. In other words, if he hasn't made plans with you quickly after your last date, he's just keeping his options open, hoping he finds someone he likes better. Now again, this isn't that you should go out with every ear puppy dog who shows interest in you and calls the next day. This is simply to say that when you're agonizing about whether a guy's actually boyfriend material, don't pay too much attention to how much you like him. Pay attention to how much effort he's making to see you. This is a far more accurate picture of his feelings than the chemistry that you felt when you were together. Any excuse he has for not making a date is just that an excuse. Paying attention to a guy's efforts, not just his charm, will save you years of wasted time and emotion on the guy who doesn't want to commit to you and allow you to focus exclusively on the guys who do. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend, click subscribe, and stay tuned for more great videos to help you understand men and find love fast.